In Afghanistan, a militant attack killed nine soldiers at a U.S. base today, the deadliest attack there in years. It's the latest act in a stepped-up war that may force the U.S. military to redeploy troops from Iraq to Afghanistan. Thalia Shuris in Washington has the latest. The deaths of the nine American soldiers marks the largest one-day toll in three years. The attack by Taliban insurgents on a U.S. base in eastern Afghanistan near the Pakistan border also left at least including NATO and Afghan soldiers. A NATO spokesperson described the battle to CBS News. So this was a very heavy engagement. Uh, fighting began in the early morning and continued well into the day. Afghanistan has seen an increase in violence in past months. Just today, there was also a suicide bombing against a police patrol in southern Afghanistan, which claimed 24 lives, while U.S. and Afghan soldiers killed 40 insurgents elsewhere. We're in the um, fighting season now where... Um, we actually do have a lot of fighting in a lot of places. The number of U.S. and allied troops killed in Afghanistan is now exceeding the toll in Iraq, a trend that began in May. Just this week, Defense Secretary Robert Gates said bolstering the effort in Afghanistan is becoming critical. And we've seen a reduction uh, in violence and, and casualties in Iraq, and I think it's... Uh, just part of our commitment to ensure that we have the resources available to uh, be successful in Afghanistan over the long haul. The New York Times reports today that the Bush administration is considering increasing the pace of withdrawal of U.S. combat brigades from Iraq in part to fill the pressing need in the Afghanistan conflict, known as the Forgotten War. But the White House said this afternoon an increased pullout will depend on word from General David Petraeus, the commander of U.S. forces in Iraq. But General Petraeus won't be reporting back until the middle of September, so any change in pace is not likely to occur before then, Anthony. But, Thalia, will, uh, will more troops continue to be pulled out down the road here? The answer to that is, is probably yes. That's exactly what the Iraqis want. And the White House official I spoke to today said that President Bush wants forces withdrawn as fast as possible. The key is as long as security gains are not jeopardized. All right. Thalia Shuris at the White House. Thanks.